All right, so today we're taking a look at the Wavelink Wi-Fi extender. Now they say that this will extend your Wi-Fi up to 200 yards, 656 feet, which is 218 yards. And we're gonna test that today just to see the distance of the signal that the Wavelink carries. Now this was super simple and easy to set up. The only thing that you had to do was take the LAN cable here and plug it into the bottom side of the Wavelink right here. And then you, uh, you get this little converter right here that plugs into your AC. So I'm going from AC to the converter and then to the Wavelink. Now you can use this three different ways. You can connect it directly to your router with the, the back side of this. It is a dual plug, so you can connect it to your router and uh, use it as a router. You can also uh, use it as uh, an access point, and then finally you can use it as a repeater. I'm using it as a repeater. I was really impressed with how easy this was to set up. I set this in my kitchen, plugged it in, and then I got on my laptop, I put in the password, got connected to the Wavelink, and uh, the Wavelink has a 2G and a 5G, which is a 2.4, and then uh, your five gigahertz, and it is, so it's a dual band, and it is high speed um, depending upon your uh, service. So I use Starlink, I have a satellite that is up in the sky that I uh, get my signal from, and then I take it from my router, it's gonna catch, capture it here, and then it's gonna broadcast it out there another 200 yards. So this is the only place that I have an outlet here, right at my, uh, my chicken coop. We spend a lot of time outside, so having an extended Wi-Fi signal will be really nice. What we're gonna do here is uh, put this up on top of the chicken coop, we're just going to lay it down so that we get the height and then we also get the, uh, the the broadcast length. They do give you they do give you a bracket if you was to mount that to a fence post, and they also give you two of these zip ties if maybe you wanted to uh, zip tie it to a pole, like we was to put it on that light post up there. We could do that, but just for this test, we are going to uh, go ahead and lay it on top of the chicken coop and then we're going to get in the car we're going to go about 200 yards out into the field and see what kind of signal that we get okay so if you look out over the top of the uh, the laptop here you can see my house and uh, you can see the chicken coop there it would be that blue uh, tarp that you can see that is uh, approximately 150 200 yards uh, from where we are currently at now i want you to notice down here uh, in this lower right hand corner these are my internet connections you can see I have the uh, the extension 2G, that is the Wavelink. Uh, this is my regular internet right here, this is Starlink. Then you got the uh, Wavelink 5G again, and then I've also got another router out in my garage. And then these are uh, neighbors, of course. So uh, we are connected to the Skinner One extension 2G, which is the Wavelink 2G. We're gonna hit the speed test here, and I know it's kind of hard to see in the uh, in the light here, but we're gonna get right up here and you can see that we do have a signal, but not the greatest speed. Now I know that a speed test is not the best test to have for uh, testing a, uh, a, router, a router or uh, a repeater, uh, but that's the best test that I can do for right now. You can do a ping test, you can do a, a latency test and all those other things, but we're just doing a speed test. Uh, what we're gonna do next here is uh, we're gonna connect to the 5G. You saw that our connection was only about two megabytes per second. And where we're at now at about 150, 200 yards, you can see that I'm not even able to connect to the 5G. Uh, there we go. And so we're gonna go ahead and run this speed test and see where we're at here with the 5G. This right here would be our ping. This would also be our latency. And so you can see this is not the greatest connection. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go down here uh, to our connections and I'm actually gonna connect to my home router, my main router that is uh, just inside the house, which is another 40 yards in distance from where the repeater is. And so we're gonna go ahead and look at that. So I'm actually getting a better signal from my router, which is inside the house, than I am from the repeater, which is 30 yards, 40 yards from the house, and then uh, another 150. We're well within the range of that repeater's maximum distance, and we just, we are really struggling to even get connected to it. So one more time here, it looks like that 2G now has a, a good signal, and we're connected to the 2G, which is the Wavelink 2G. And even though we are connected to that, we are only getting a two megabyte download, if that. 
One last thing I wanted to do for you is uh, connect to my router that is in the garage. Now the router in the garage is connected to the router in the house. And so it's also getting the same signal as the Wavelink. And we'll see what kind of speeds we get with it. Not as good as the router, but just as good. So the Wavelink repeater, Wi-Fi extender, either I've got a really good router or the Wavelink isn't nearly as good as what we had anticipated it to be. So I'm telling you right now that I am farther away from my router, get a better signal, get better speeds than I do with a Wi-Fi repeater, which is uh, closer to me than my home router. So, you know, if you're looking to extend your Wi-Fi, first thing I would do is check to see what kind of signal you're getting from your main router and then make your decisions from there. One thing that you could do with this Wi-Fi extender is that you could run a Cat5 LAN cable from your router to the Wi-Fi extender and then you would get a, a much better signal uh, up to 200 yards. Uh, the only thing is that if you're gonna connect your router to your Wi-Fi extender, they recommend that that Cat5 cable be 196 feet or less. So it's gonna to have to go from your uh, from your router out the house, bury it underground is what I would highly suggest, and then connect it to your, uh, your Wi-Fi extender. Again, 196 feet from the router to the extender is the uh, recommended distance, 196 feet or less. When you connect it directly to your router, then you're gonna get those high speeds, uh, both in the 2G and in the 5G. You'll get whatever your router is getting.